I'm often asked about how to try and make your clarinet play better. A lot of people don't necessarily have access to a, a clarinet specialist who's in their neighborhood. Uh, sometimes they have brand new instruments, they're not sure why they're getting certain response problems. I often watch people check for leaks and there's a few ways to do it. One of them is, and I will just take a brand new commercially available instrument. You'll see sometimes people going, really plays well. That's a fabulous test as long as you as a player suck in while you play. If you do, you should use that test all the time. In fact, the one I always prefer is a machine which is an analytical tool that gives us a measurement. So a lot of repair people now have these available and they're using them, which is great. But one of the things which I see all the time that gets overlooked is people will use them and they'll measure. So in this case, for an example, what this will show us is that this is leaking roughly at the number two. Now interestingly, I noticed with this new instrument, it's right out of the box, I could feel that the joints had rocking. You can see possibly even here. I find frequently people suffer with a number of things, intonation problems in the upper register or one really good clue that you have leaked somewhere. Tonguing that's even more difficult than you think. And we all know tonguing is difficult at the best of times, but when you're having real trouble getting clarity, even though you're practicing, your reads seem to be okay, your mouthpiece is responding, but you just can't get the cleanliness. Frequently it's because of leaks. So I'm gonna check and just see something. With this instrument, and this is new out of a box, so it hasn't been adjusted, there's gonna be likely a certain amount of leakage. And we're gonna see here that the leakage is approximately the number two on the gauge. Don't worry for now what that means, but it means that there's a certain amount of leakage. Then I'm going to take the barrel only. I'm gonna block it up with the air hose and I'm gonna put a plug in the bottom. And unless there's a crack or some wood problem or some, you know, open grain, it should go down basically to zero, which of course it does. So we're now going to take these two pieces, put them together. We're going to put a plug in the bottom, plug in the top. We're going to try this again. And the number is approximately four, meaning we now have doubled the leakage that we had a couple of minutes ago. The only place that that leakage could be coming from is right here at the tendon cork. So we could have a problem with the tenon, but the likely scenario is this cork was either overcut, it shrunk, the wood chain shape, or you may notice that the cork has holes and flaws. So what I'm going to do in this case, just to prove the theory is right or wrong, I'm going to take some Teflon plumber's tape. There's no glue, so don't worry about this, folks. I'm simply going to wrap it around. Then I'm going to put the barrel back on with the tape on. And I'm going to try the experiment once again. And lo and behold, we just removed half the leakage in the clarinet by a simple leak at the tenon cork. You could have your technician replace the cork. You can also put paraffin on it, which is melted almost with uh, something as simple as a, um, a hair dryer. I'm not really familiar with those because I don't have much hair to dry. But you can put the paraffin around and simply melt it. Doing that alone will change the response of your instrument noticeably in a very positive way and it's something that will have very little cost even with new instruments check that i think you'll find it's very helpful thanks folks